Which, what, what is your greatest Titanic production memory? My greatest Titanic production memory is the last shot we did. Because <laughs> it concluded a very long production. And it was an underwater shot outside where Jack and Rose are separated. We shot it against a green screen. And, and it was fitting that you know the last shot is really one of the last shots of Titanic because it was going away in the background behind them. I was talking to you earlier about Titanic. I went to the Mexico studios and everything was being shot backwards. All the letters were backwards right. and stuff. And again, shortly, what was the reason for it being backwards? Well, first of all, we saved money by only building one half of the ship completely down. But that forced us to flop the film. So even the Southampton dock scene where they're leaving the dock, historically, the way we positioned the ship, it was on the wrong side of the dock. So if you saw the Southampton dock, all the lettering of White Star Line was all reversed, and we turned the film and we turned it around, and we only had ocean on one side, and that forced us to do the same thing for scenes where we saw the ocean. Watch what I'm about to do. How about the flooding of the scenes? <laughs> the, the flooding of the scenes? The, the flooding of the, of, of the ship was, uh, you know, that, that, was, that was done real, and that, that was one of the more in, intense things. We didn't have the uh, ability like we did on Way of Water to do it digitally, so we built a set um, on hydraulic cables that was actually lowered into the water and we had dump tanks above that were containers, shipping containers, filled with water that dumped water into the grand staircase, broke the dome and actually flooded that set. How come Avatar has the best image processing capture stereo software? Why do you guys have the best? You know, I, I don't know if it's the software or the people. I think that, uh, you know, it's the people who understand how to use those tools and how to deal with 3D and how to deal with stereo and, and focus on performance. Last question. When an actor comes into the 3D volume space, what is it, do they act different? Are they still the same person or just something they got to do? I, I think working in a, a 3D capture is liberating for an actor. They are not confined by a camera that might be in front of them for a close-up. They can actually play a scene directly with a person. Um, and then move around the set with freedom. So I think it's a liberating experience and you just gotta let yourself go. Talk about let myself go. I was about to park my car and there's John Lando's spot. I went, ah, I'm not gonna park in your spot. Well, I left it open for you. That's why there's no <laughs> car there today. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome.